An officer involved shooting in Euclid last week and a crash that injured an officer this week. They're two totally different independent events, but both involved a stolen vehicle at the center of those incidents. All of this due in large part to ongoing issues with Kia and Hyundais and the auto thefts in Cleveland and all of Northeast Ohio continues to surge. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg explains why tonight. They came to work early Thursday morning to begin making their rounds on Cleveland's garbage trucks. But unfortunately, it was their personal vehicles that ended up trashed. A suspect or suspects broke into nearly a dozen city employee owned cars and reportedly stole one more. The stolen car will inevitably show up again someday, but Councilman and Safety Committee Chairman Mike Polenzik is concerned Major. about what it may be used for. Businesses hit people hit, other vehicles damaged. So what it is is almost like a tsunami of crime, additional crime, once that vehicle's taken. Just in the past week, stolen cars have been at the center of a litany of crimes, including a police shooting in Manhunt and Euclid, and a violent crash that injured a Cleveland Clinic police officer on Wednesday. Stolen cars are a frequent topic for the calls coming into Polensic's office. I get a little old lady calls me. They steal her car, tear it up, trash it, the insurance gives her a loaner, and they steal the loaner. Figure that one out. According to Cleveland Police data, through June 3rd, the number of stolen vehicles in the city of Cleveland is up 85% compared to the same point last year. And most troubling of all, officials say, is the fact that the stolen car is often the beginning of the crime spree, not the end of it. It's the other crimes they're using, the armed robberies, the stick-ups, the assaults, the homicides that they're utilizing these stolen cars for as well. As News 5 has previously reported, the city has sued Hyundai and Kia in connection with the surge in thefts involving their vehicles. But Polenzik says further investments are needed, including license plate readers and additional officers. Polenzik has urged the Bibb administration to offer $10,000 signing bonuses to new officers. Believe me, I've thought about it a great deal. Obviously, we need more men and women in our police department. So we're looking to the administration for an aggressive recruitment and marketing plan. There's no substitute for police officers patrolling the streets. In Cleveland, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.